Richard, and I want your opinion on it. Now, we talk about blatant cheating, capping, pinching, card switching, electronic devices, and marking, stuff like that. That's blatant cheating. There's no, no, no doubt about it. And then there's psychological cheating. I think that's maybe the category where you fall into is psychological cheating. It's when you use uh, psychology to promote and complete a cheating move. Right? Then I got a new category that a lot of people don't think about that really, I believe, tears up the industry, and that's psychological advantage play. And a psychological advantage play is a play where even if you got caught, you, you wouldn't go to prison, you wouldn't get the handcuffed, nothing happens because you're forcing somebody to make a move that they shouldn't make. You're, you're talking them into something. It's just like a hobby for you, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so in the mid-90s, I was asked to create a website for um, who I worked for at the time, and I enjoyed that so much that I started just creating fun websites about, one was about math problems, and one was about baby names, and one was about gambling. And it was the gambling one that, without any advertising, became, I would say, the, the most trusted website about gambling on the internet. And it it became such a success that I left a very secure government job and moved to Las Vegas to develop, devote myself completely to it. Yeah, so, uh Bill, you, you've, you've, you've done it all. You started dealing back in, I, I think it was 79. Is it my right on that? Uh, it, was, it actually was in uh, the fall of, uh, let's see, 79 was when I was with the Game Control Board. It was in the fall of 76. 76. Yeah, I'm an old guy. You know, yes. I was, I'm back to the old single deck um, games and, you know, uh, 21 games and, uh, and uh, you know, we only had rat, uh, roulette, craps, and baccarat. That was it. Was that was that at the Royal? Is that where yeah. you started? <laughs> no, you, you're hurting me. <laughs> the Royal Inn. The, the Royal, Royal Inn. Inn. Yeah, the first night I worked there, a floorman came up and kicked me in the back of the foot. And I didn't know what he meant. I didn't know what was going on. He kicked me, right? And then he comes back and he kicks me again really hard. And, and, and I'm, I'm looking around, and what's, what's this guy doing? And, and he comes up, he goes, what's wrong with you? I told you to shuffle up. I didn't know that's what he wanted done, right? <laughs> so what they would do is if you weren't running well, they'd shuffle a card to trade, you know, decks or whatever. But it was, you know, for a 21-year-old guy who just wanted to get into gaming, you know, uh, it was a real experience because they were really into the voodoo and the, and the, and the lucky – unlucky you know garbage that went on in those days so nick let me let me say something before uh we start you know yeah. i'm a table games guy you know and us Absolutely. table games guys we always think you know oh god here comes that pd guy again and everything i just made last night he's gonna blow back off to this player <laughs> so you know that's where i'm coming from so this should yep. be a very 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 entertaining interview nick welcome to be in the know Thank you. 